The project is called Promoting Insect-Based Ecosystem Services in Smallholder Landscapes in Southeast Asia. And broadly, the goals are via some different ecological and social data collection techniques, as well as some modeling techniques, to try and understand where natural pest control services can best act as a complement to the careful application of pesticides in the Cambodian context. Project have uh, select uh, Siem Reap province in Cambodia is uh, around the Great Lake uh, Tinh Le Sap. One of the reasons we choose the Siem Reap because we have that uh, in terms of the agriculture ecosystem from the simple to the complex one. So simple it means that uh, the farmer they grow more only uh, rice, mainly rice and some of that uh, home gardening crop. And uh, to the complex one, it means that uh, the farmer they grow the rye of other crop with the natural uh, forest. The project is uh, it is important because it, it looks at uh, uh, more on the we call uh, ecological service. Ecosystem services are the combined actions of the species and physical processes in an ecosystem that perform functions of value to the society. The project has uh, two uh, components. One is a ecological uh, research. In one part, we do the experiment to collect, you know, to cut the insect and count it. And uh, the one, uh, another component is on the earth household surveys. For the social aspect, so we interview the farmer about the perception so what do uh, they think in terms of the agriculture uh, ecosystem or insect here? So my name is Yu Piron. So I'm the IPM specialist. We are here we in the insect zoo. We, the insect zoo, we have there are 50 insect zoo. We raise a brown plant hopper inside the insect zoo. We study the interaction between BPH and the natural enemy. BPH is mean the brown plant hopper. This is the serial pest in rice crop in Asia. BPH like to stay in the base of the rice plant. The BPH suck, yeah, suck the sap of the rice, rice plant. So rice, rice plant become uh, uh, destroyed, we call the hopper bone. If the cereal are damaged, so farmer could not get yield. So the population increase. When they knew, we knew a lot of pesticide, so the pesticide kill natural uh, beneficial insects. Natural enemies are the beneficial organisms or insects that prey upon uh, pests in the crops. We are doing a number of uh, ecological experiments to identify the different uh, species of insects that are present in the system and to measure the level of biological pest control services they provide. The complexity of insect ecosystem and the services they provide vary with the complexity of landscape and the diversity of land uses. So from a pesticide perspective, Cambodia faces some constraints that other countries in the region don't. All of the pesticides that Cambodian farmers make use of come either from Thailand or from Vietnam. Uh, and there's no local translation into Khmer script of what's written. Very typically you see application of these sort of cocktails of five or six different things uh, throughout the season, which aren't necessarily the best thing from the, for the crops or the farmers. If they don't kill the insect, they cannot grow the crop. So it is like a, a dilemma for them. Not only do they induce human health and environmental risks? You see a lot of uh, acute pesticide poisonings at the, at the personal level. They also have detrimental impact on the beneficial insects that 
keep the pest population in check. But for the farmer, the knowledge is limited. What they can see, the problem is just very short-term solution. We need some people who can think in terms of the long term, how to improve the ecosystem that eventually reduce the reduce the pesticide on 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 the insect. We designed uh, a coordination game uh, where each farmer has access to nine squares of farmland on which they're able to make a number of different decisions. They can choose to grow crops, they can choose to spray them lightly and carefully, they can choose to do a broad spectrum spraying, or they can forgo a crop entirely in one of those squares and maintain what we call non-crop habitat. And those have different costs and benefits that the farmers learn as they play the game and we look to see what they choose to do. The game is designed in such a way that the use of heavy spraying of pesticides gives a pretty predictable return to the player. And so the game has a couple of different important equilibria. The Nash equilibrium of the game, which is sort of the, what we call the selfish strategy or the you know, no matter what other players do, I'm okay if I do this strategy, uh, and that's to heavy spray. We've calibrated the game so that the payoffs for the farmers can be about the same or even slightly better if they're able to solve the coordination problem and share the burdens and benefits of doing uh, non-crop habitat. Uh, and so the question for us in this game is, you know, given a world where the benefits are the same either way, what kind of a nudge does it take to encourage farmers to shift from that selfish Nash strategy towards the coordinating uh, non-crop habitat strategy. The immediate uh, benefit to the farmer, the farmer they get some uh, awareness knowledge about the insect, especially uh, in the game in the game uh, survey the farmer they start to discuss and talk and share information about the project or concept for that one sometimes uh, it is the first time for them to see uh, the, the tablet and and at, at, at the beginning uh, we experienced that they said oh I, I cannot use the tablet and the farmer see the importance of the tablet it is like to watch the movie, take the picture, or even some they ask the, our innovator if they can buy the tablet for the grandchild to play game for that. So, so it, uh, it, uh, for the farmer, they really they, they respond to that, that, that technology. Yeah. So when we see farmers choosing, perhaps on their own, you know, to tackle that problem of coordinating, it suggests that you know, part of that is them bringing in their own ideas about what is a good thing and you know, almost bringing in an environmentally sound behavior into the game. Um, and so that, you know, the open question is for us, I mean, does that matter? And, and is it the case that that's something you encounter in the field? Is it the case that some, some particular farmers are more willing off the bat to try and explore, explore alternatives to the use of heavy pesticides? And if so, why is that? It's uh, a matter of how can we use the information to do the something on the next level, the next step. In the case of Cambodia, it's at a point in its economic development where agriculture matters and the ability to get more out of agriculture really matters. If the finding is positive that it will have a, a contribute to reductions of uh, pesticide application in the rice field, uh, which is uh, good to the environment and, and human uh, being. By managing ecosystem services and all the uh, ecological structures and the processes that provide those important services, we human beings are benefiting in the long run. I'm not going to